Hello and welcome to the section 3.1 lecture today for Algebra 1 Part 2. Uh, we're going to start looking at some geometry stuff, which is I'm really excited for. I'm a, a big fan of geometry. I've taught it multiple years and I really enjoy it just as a subject. Um, anyways, today we're going to start by looking at perimeter and area of quadrilaterals. First, a quadrilateral. It's a four-sided figure. Okay, a shape that has four sides, two-dimensional shape with four sides. Perimeter, we probably have an idea of this one because we've talked about it in the past. Distance around a shape. Area, area we've kind of talked about, but it's the, uh, it's the space inside a shape. We're going to think of it today, oh, around it, inside a shape. We're going to think of it today as like the number of squares that would fit inside of a shape. So looking at perimeter, I want to find the perimeter below using the units on this graph. So we don't have like a technical, um, a technical unit of measurement. We're just going to use units as our response. So we're going to kind of count, right? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten going that way. So if I start in this corner, I've gone ten units just to get to this corner. And then how many vertically? One, two, three, four, <coughs> five, six. So six units that way. Since this is a rectangle, um, both of the directions are the same. So I've gone 16 to get this far. It's another 10 to get back here and another 6 to get back here. Okay, The distance around this is going to be 10 plus 6 plus 10 plus 6. So it's going to be uh, 20 and 12, 32 units. Okay, let's look at this one. Okay, I've actually done some of the calculation for us, um, but we can count the, the sideways ones. Those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It goes all the way there. And this is, is kind of a slanted distance, so we can't count this as one unit to get across. It's actually longer than that. Okay, just a little bit longer. Um, and it ends up being that this whole distance is 4.14 units, and that's rounded. Okay, so we have 7, 4.14, 7, 4.14. So 7 plus 4.14 plus 7 plus 4.14. <coughs> And that's going to give us like 14 and 8.28. Uh, uh, so maybe 22.28 units. So generally the perimeter of a quadrilateral, um, if, it's a, if it's a good type of quadrilateral, um, maybe, maybe I talk more about a rectangle. Um, but but the general look for a quadrilateral is all sides added together, all side lengths added together. But below that, I want you to put, if we have a rectangle, which we saw on the top, just up above, it's length plus width plus length plus width, or however you want to look at that. Um, but perimeter for a rectangle is going to be double the length plus the width. That's probably the simplest formula for that. Okay. Let's take a look at the back side. On the back, we're talking about area. Okay, we want to find the area of these shapes. 
So we want to look at how many squares fit in here. Okay, let's count the squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so we would call that fifteen square units because this is a two-dimensional measurement where perimeter is just a, a linear measurement. We're counting, we're talking about how how long it is just around the square. This is like a space calculation. Okay, we call it an area calculation. And so it's in square units, or you might say 15 units squared. Okay, what about this one? So in this one, I've got, I, I can only count uh, squares if they're full squares. So let me count the full ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Now I also have these little half squares. We would look, we would call them triangles more kind of specifically, but they are exactly half of a whole square. So every two of them would count as a whole square. Okay, every two of them would count as a whole square. So how many half squares? So let's let's put this part down anyways that we have already. We have 12 full squares. Oops. 12 full squares. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, six half squares or triangles. Okay, the six half squares can all come together to give me, uh, let me move this over a little bit, but the six half squares could come together to give me three full squares. if we piece them all together. And so total 12 plus three, I have 15 square units. So I get the same area, but how can that be? Because one of them is a boxy rectangle and one of them's kind of slanted. We would call that a parallelogram, okay? So one's a rectangle, one's a parallelogram, but they have the same area. Well, if we look, they kind of take up the same amount of space, not to say that the same way, but this one has a top side measurement of five. I'm gonna write it down here on the bottom, right? This takes up five units and it takes up three units vertically. Well, and 15 is actually made by three times five. Okay, or its base times its height. That's kind of a better way to look at it here, is its base times its height. Well, down here, we got the same thing, and it has a base of one, two, three, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. It has a base of five units. And what about its height? Well, this side is slanted, but it's not technically its height. Its height would be more like a vertical line going from one side to the opposite side. Well, it takes up one, two, three units. Kind of the, the vertical or the, the height blue uh, footprint of this thing, it takes up three units. So it's still 15 because it's three times five. Okay, the area of a quadrilateral, and, and we are talking more about like rectangles um, and our other one, uh, our other one here is a parallelogram. So, and parallelograms. So for rectangles and parallelograms, the area, the area is length 
sorry, not length. We called it the base times the height. Okay, let's find the perimeter and the area of these three, and then we'll call it good. Okay, perimeter wise, this one's a rectangle. Okay, it's actually a square but we can treat it like a rectangle. We said perimeter of a rectangle was two times the length plus the width, or the base times the height, if you wanted to look at it the way we're gonna look at it in a second. Let's do that. Let's call that the base and the height, because it kind of looks like a bottom and a vertical distance. So base plus the height. Well, the base and the height on this one are the same. They're both 64. So we have 2 times 64 plus 64. Eh, this number is going to get a little bit big, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and grab a calculator. 64 plus 64 times 2. The perimeter is 256 centimeters. And again, that's just a, a counting of, oh boy, that was a bad one. A counting of the distance around so it's just a linear distance, okay? it's just centimeters. Area is the base times the height. So, oops, oh boy, made a move there. Let me get back there. Um, it's just the base times the height. And so it's a little bit bigger, 64 times 64 or 4,096. And that's going to be centimeters squared. Okay, this next one, I have 75 inches as a base and 57 inches as a height. So the perimeter would be 2, the base, plus the height, 2 times the base plus the height, 75 plus 57 is 132, times 2 is 264, and those are inches. Again, perimeter is just the distance around. Distance is a linear measurement. You are expected to have units on all of your answers and the right units. So I bet I could ask a question or, and give the answer as like 200, like this perimeter. I might have a wrong answer that's 264 inches squared. That would be a wrong answer for perimeter. Okay. Um, area is going to be the base times the height, so it's just 75 times 57. That's probably going to be a pretty big number. 4,275. 4,275. That's going to be in square inches. Okay. Let's look at this last one. It's a parallelogram. It's a slanted rectangle, okay? So, again, for this, it's going to be, um, for, the, for the perimeter, it's not quite the, the, the base, two times the base plus the height in a, in a parallelogram. It really has to be all four of these sides added together. But both opposite sides are still the same. This is going to be 83 inches. And this side over here is going to be 48.9 inches. Okay, let's figure out what that is if we add all those up. I'm just going to do it using the calculator. 48.9 plus 83 plus 48.9 plus 83. I get 263.8. 263.8. Those are inches. And the last one, the area, is the base times the height. It's actually going to be 83, not times 48.9, times 44. This one has to be the actual height of this shape. Okay, 83 times 44, 3,652. And those are going to be inches squared. Okay, make sure you write down any questions you have on the left. 
Um, hopefully this made a little bit of sense, but if you do have questions, let's get those answered right off the bat in class. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day and we will see you in class.